You just wait until Maggie plants her feet in the middle of Toys R Us and screams bloody murder. <laughs> I'm serious, Amy. Kids don't need independence. They need structure and discipline. Makes them feel safe. Victim Amy Lane took one to the neck. She was walking her baby with her friend Tracy Underwood. The friend says she heard a shot. Looked over, Amy was on the ground. Any other witnesses? Just a uh, restaurant owner. I got him. What do we got? Shot looks through and through. Where'd the slug wind up? We can't find it. No shell casings either. Any idea what kind of weapon? Shot came from a distance, so with no slug or shell casing. And where was the shooter? If we knew which way she was facing before she got hit, maybe we could figure the angle of the shot. I was leaning in my stroller. Uh, I didn't see what she was doing. I was opening up my restaurant. How about where the shot came from? Uh, over there, maybe. What do you think? I don't know. You were opening up, weren't you? I think it was from over there. Has anyone called Amy's husband? What about the baby? Uh, the officer will take care of the baby. How can we reach your husband? Uh, he's a consultant with McMurtry and Company. OK, thanks. What'd you find out? Could have been a stray bullet. Six inches to the right, she'd still be here. Six inches to the right, Lincoln would have seen the end of the play. Ah, uh, you must be the die low. Out. So there was a shooting this morning on Catherine Street. Really? I hadn't heard. You know, that wouldn't make you much of a die low now, would it, if you didn't know what was going on in your own territory? Territory? I don't know what you mean, brother. That's where the people live who pay you protection money. Yeah. Where were you at 9 o'clock this morning? Nine o'clock. It's catching Z's, man. Buddy, the Lou wants us to check on another shooting on Pell Street. I was standing in line behind him. He just collapsed. Did you hear the shot? I thought it was a car backfiring. You know where it came from? Definitely from over there. Hey, get CSU across the street. We checked, detective. Nothing. Well, check again. Did you see anything after the shooting? Everyone taking cover. Detectives! This looks like your slug. Could be a 243 or a 7 millimeter. Rifle? Definitely a rifle. Same neighborhood, same general scenario. Shot from out of nowhere, victim goes down. One of them hit in the neck, one in the head. They both can't be stray bullets. No witnesses? Plenty of people see the victim go down. Nobody sees the shooter. What about these ghost dragons? We're putting them in lineups on the extortion, but the second shooting doesn't seem to have any relation to a restaurant. But what about some kind of hit? Is there any connection between the two victims? He's an accountant. She's a mom. Maybe he did her taxes. Well, let's hope that's it. I'm sorry. Amy Lane isn't anywhere in Mr. Spelling's book. How about off the book? What's that supposed to mean? Could they have been seeing each other socially? Absolutely not. Look, Mrs. Barker, we're not interested in embarrassing Mr. Spelling or his family. We just want to find out who killed him. Mr. Spelling was not having an affair. And frankly, I can't believe that you would come in here after what just happened and imply that he was. Right now, every second counts. So I'm going to ask you again, are you sure? Because sometimes there are little signs, you know, you ignore them. You don't let yourself think about it. I've worked with Larry for 20 years. You're with someone that long. You know every little thing about them. Briscoe. <sighs> yeah. Thanks. Get these people Get back. back. His name is Charlie Rodriguez, former for the power company. Slugs from a rifle. Tell me someone saw something. Lieutenant, this place is a mess. We just started Sergeant, to talk to people. I want you to hunt down every single person who was here when this man was shot. I want to know where they were standing, what they heard, what they were doing. Yes, ma'am. What you got for us, Wes? I'm trying to figure out where your shot came from. Here, hold this. 
He was DOA so the medics didn't touch him, mess up the wound. Now witnesses say he was facing the street, riding on a clipboard when he got hit. I already ran a probe into the wound, measured the angle. Now based on that calculation... Where was the bastard? That roof. Lou, we got gunshot residue over here. So the guy took his shot from here. Either it goes down the stairs or across a couple of rooftops. Lieutenant? Forensics found this note taped to the wall on the other side of the roof. Someone stopped the voices. Ballistics makes both slug seven millimeter rounds fired from a Remington 700. Nobody sees a guy walking around with a rifle in broad daylight? They make a model that breaks down like a pool cue. You can conceal it in your jacket or your shopping bag. This guy took out each of his victims with a single shot. That means he knows what he's doing. Any link between these people? Just that they were shot within a 10 block radius. Other than that, it looks random. Wonderful. I think it's time we shut down Lower Manhattan like we did when the towers went down. If we do that, sir, we'll have panic on our hands. And I at least want that area swarming with manpower. All RDOs have been canceled. Everyone's pulling double tours. The commissioner wants observation posts set up with views of the rooftops. Does the media know about the note? My sources at the local news outlets say yes. Okay, Lieutenant, you'll continue to run the team. For now. Let's get this son of a bitch. Hey, Ed. I got something on the west side of Pell Street. Looks like a cable guy. Better make sure. Get a car over to the corner of Pell and Watt. Central, we got a possible suspect. Eight million people in this city and one lunatic. How come I don't like these odds? For once, I'm glad the house always wins. Yeah, but given enough time. Yep. How? How? Woman Chukan, Xie Xie. Lady at 130 Mott says she hears somebody on her roof. 130? Corner building, south of the Green Steeple. Must be rats. Yeah. Quick. Do you have any ID? Victim's name is Haley Sanders, 14. She just got out of school, one shot from across the street. Anybody seen the shooter? Three kids saw suspicious men leave different buildings. This guy's like a ghost. Blanket uptown, moves downtown for some fresh blood. Tell me, we found this note on the roof of 432. Me, four, police, zero. At least he knows how to count. I want to shrink to see this. 